What do you think? Does it make you feel at least some joy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Really? Okay. A lot of joy. Take another bite, and then it's my turn. Those are whole buckwheat groats, which I'm going to grind up into flour, olive oil, then you've got some golden flaxseed, which I'm also going to grind up into flour, and then some brown sprouted rice, which I am also going to grind up into my own motherfucking flour. Here I am grinding up some of that sprouted brown rice, and now the buckwheat groats. I'm just using my badass ninja. I'm shaking it up a little bit to keep it because it's so thick. I want to make sure it all gets ground. I didn't have quite enough of the sprouted brown rice flour. The recipe specifically says that I can use regular rice flour. So I added in a cup of that to make the whole amount that I needed. Dang it! I didn't read the directions right. Now the flax seeds are in there and I need them in the liquid ingredients. Okay, so I'm going to try and clean this up. So I got most of the flour... Um, off of the uh, ground flax seeds. Luckily the flax seeds were uh, kind of denser so it wasn't that hard to do it and actually it was kind of fun so you know it was a mistake but for some reason it felt like playing in the playing in the sand to clean that one up. Okay so here's my four cups of water and I'm adding in the maple syrup Next time I will mix up the maple syrup real well to make sure it's well combined with the water before I put stuff in because it got all gloopy and kind of nasty. Okay, so this went a little, this went a little ape shit. Okay, so now I'm going to put the reclaimed uh, ground flaxseed and the psyllium in, the, um, in with the yeast. Let's stand for one to two minutes and let them release their gelatinous substances and then whisk again. Gross. Now well, let's whisk, whisk. Oh my God, that's so thick. What the hell? Okay. So I started doing, I started following the directions and saying, you know, start blending it in a bowl, but I don't have any huge bowls. I live in too small of an apartment to store humongous bowls. So um, I pretty quickly realized that it was easier just to get the gelatinous substance somewhat uh, covered in flour and then I just put it out on the on the kneading pad. So I'm just gonna keep working this together. It actually felt really good because it was nice and warm and it just I used to love baking bread and um, this smelled all yeasty and it felt great. It wasn't sticking to my hands that bad. It was just, it was, it was pure joy. I was having a hell of a good time while I was kneading this shit up. Okay, so now I'm gonna start breaking it into pieces and then kept working it a little bit because they were still a little sticky and adding a little bit more of the flour. Okay, so here they are after rising. So after rising, it was time to boil them. So I got a couple pots of water going and uh, just put them in one at a time and boiled them on each side for two minutes. It actually smelled really good. Um, kind of still got that, you know, yeasty baking bread sort of smell. So that was cool. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I think it's gonna work, I think it's gonna work, oh my God. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, Ainsley and I got so excited when the, it was ready for the bagels to come out of the oven that we forgot to record what they look like when they actually came out of the oven. But um, we certainly didn't forget to record what they look like going in our bellies. So. All right, okay. Ainsley's first bite of the new bagel recipe. What do you think? Does it make you feel at least some joy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Really? Okay. A lot of joy. Take another bite and then it's my turn. <laughs> oh, good bagel is really something of a hold, isn't it? Okay. So let's see. So I have the bottom, but that's okay. That's how this goes. Mmm. 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 
It's a little bit crunchy on the bottom. It's soft and chewy. There's good flavor. This is goat cheese. It's delicious. Oh my god. We're totally on the road to replicating the most amazing bagels we've ever had, but they're only in Sisters, Oregon. Can't drive a Sisters, Oregon all the time. So let's try this. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yay! So here's an example of a perfect breakfast that took almost zero effort. And I'm very excited to eat it! I'm gonna make it! Okay, so here's those amazing new gluten-free bagels I made, vegan also. I got a little bit of goat cheese, um, cause I'm still low FODMAP and I'm not really supposed to be eating goat cheese, but I'm doing it anyway. And then um, some avocado and some sweet potatoes I'd already made into hash browns and just reheated, and some bacon I had already cooked and just reheated. So basically, the only effort that it took to make this breakfast, which was gonna keep me going for hours and hours and hours, was reheating a couple of things and, you know, toasting this. I'm very excited.